anything, guys. <clears throat> Just get ready to water some of the other plants. This is a granddaddy purple in a 25 or 15 gallon felt pot. Another GDP. This one, um, this one's been topped. Kind of. <coughs> I had it first growing inside and I hadn't been paying much attention and the top grew up and burnt against the LED light so it kind of topped itself but it really worked out for the better in the long run it's turning out to be a very nice looking plant stacking up pretty good Now, you guys see I got some uh, very little amounts of powdery mildew. Normally what I do is I just mix some uh, mouthwash with water in a spray bottle and then just give it a spray. And uh, that's, that's all I do for that. It's too bad if I start getting bud rot, then I'll just just pull them up. But for right now, oh, it's just a little bit of powdery mildew. I'm not too worried about it. You guys probably think I'm watering this way too much. You wouldn't believe how fast the. Uh, the felt pot dries out. What is the size on it? 15 gallon. Okay. That's a 15 gallon. Awesome pot. Handles on both sides. Um, I've also used uh, like the reusable grocery bags before that are kind of like the same almost felt material. Um, but they rot. <laughs> they decompose very quickly. And uh, basically, I had one in a green Dollarama reusable bag, and I went to move it, and the bag ripped apart and ruined the plant. So now I only use actual felt pots when I do that. Um, typically, I stay to plastic, though. One thing I will not use is, uh, is a ceramic pot. I refuse to use ceramic anymore for weed plants. I don't know what it is about it. But I cannot get anything to grow in them. Um, a cactus. I have a cactus in one now. I'll show you in a sec. But I used to have weed plants in them, and I, I don't do that anymore. There you guys. So, this little fella here is the cactus. It's the only kind of thing I can grow successfully in um, a ceramic pot. But I, I even have that just sitting in here so the runoff doesn't run off into my floor. Um, I have another little cactus down here. I need to transplant him into something. Find him in a better forever home. Um, this right here, I know it says great value glass cleaner. 
This is Listerine mixed with water. This is exactly what I use to uh, get rid of that powdery mildew. Show you guys where a couple spots are probably already gone. See, there's one spot right, right here on that leaf. Okay, I'm going to spray that. Sometimes I'll even come in. When I had the fan on, and just give it a little spray. Like that. I promise that you're not going to taste less green when you're smoking your dope lick. So, here's the other guys. Here's our biggest royal queen. He's doing really good. I was thinking about taking some clones off of him soon. Um, second biggest royal queen. This guy isn't as tall, but he's a lot more lush than... Uh, than the largest one. I don't think it's got as much nutrient burn as the big one. Uh, this here is, I know it, I keep saying it says Elven Roses, but this is a Royal Queen that was root bound when I transplanted it. So it's finally starting to take off and, and catch up to its siblings. Um, this was also root bound when I transplanted it, but this is not a Royal Queen like it says here. This is an Elven Rose. Um, which I definitely want to take some clones off of. There's lots of nice little places. Look at all the little nodes. So many places for nice little clones on this guy. And this is a sour diesel that we planted just a few days ago. Um, you guys can probably see just in the last three videos how much this has grown. So it's doing really well. Um, we gave them some CIL a few days ago. And now I'm just uh, giving them some water because this this guy's got some new burn in it for sure. I don't like, yeah, he doesn't like that. But everything else is healthy. He's got a couple, but the uh, this guy, I need to thin him out a little bit or start um, training him, tying him down, spreading him out a little. I also uh, a little while ago, guys, got this bad boy. Uh, Looks like crap right now because I need to tighten the chain on it. So I was using it the other day, but it's a Husqvarna 435, uh, 16 inch bar, and I've got it just for um, yard work. Basically, I wanted to make some uh, space in our lawn or in our yard for uh, for some light to come down for the sun. So you can see. Right here, this big branch, it's chopped off, and another piece chopped off right there. Used to come out and just block what little bit of light we would get. You can see the backyard is pretty closed in as it is. So, um, but now they're getting a good amount of light, and they're right here, so they're, they're just within an ear's range. But yeah, I got the saw my first time uh, ever really using a power saw. Um, but I'm pretty good. Still have all my limbs. But I think that might be it for right now, guys. Um, it's still like 7:30. The kids aren't even up yet, so probably gonna go finish watering the uh, the rest of the plants and see what I'm gonna do today.